after I harvested this um, bouquet. And as you can see, some flowers are starting to fade off. But I really love the coloring on these. I mean, look at these peach cobblers. They were not totally open when I picked them up. And now they're starting to turn from an orange, like this one, to a peach. You can actually see the difference of color here. And the more they will be in a vase, the lighter the color will become, which I really, really like. I'm also um, starting to see that my mound hoods are starting to fade up. However, they look wonderful. I really enjoyed this flower. I'm totally going to repeat it. Very happy with them. I'm starting to have some acropolis. But very few for now, and they're not like the best bloom. But I'm I'm okay with that. So this was my harvest about three to four days ago. I'm going to show you guys yesterday's harvest. Uh, yesterday when I got home it was quite dark already, so I couldn't record. However, I'm starting to have some tulip blooms. I actually have. My first colored tulip, but it's not the best looking one. So this is my first parrot tulip. Um, see it poke if it focuses. It's a beautiful red one. It actually starts uh, like a green color. And the thing is, on this one, the petals are so heavy that they actually fall off. But that's the beauty of parrot tulips. They pretty much do whatever they want. So when it started coloring, it started this color. It was like all green and just a little bit of red. But then the more it spends under the sun, the more red it becomes. Yeah. So this was my parrot tulip. Happy with it. However, now moving on to this one. The problem is... I forgot to change my watering system, so it turns out that my tulips are not growing with very long stems. This is pretty much what I got. I also don't like to um, cut them. Let me see if I can focus here. So yeah, this is pretty much what I get uh, on the stems. First of all, because I'm not grabbing the tulips all the way from the bottom, I like to leave at least two leaves on each stem because I want to get those bulbs to bloom again next year so I prefer to have smaller stems and just enjoying the blooms and actually most of the tulip most of the tulip blooms stay in the garden because I let I like to enjoy them there uh, I'm probably gonna upload a video that's how they she's curious about what I'm doing <laughs> anyway um yeah, she likes to smell them, but she never bites them. By the way, yeah, just so you guys know, um, these are poisonous for cats. However, mine are super used to just smelling them, not biting them, and not rubbing themselves against them, just in case they would get like uh, some itchiness. But she likes to hide between the blooms, and she likes to smell them from time to time. Anyway. Um, as I was saying, I'm starting to have some tulips. I actually got this one. This one was the first time I'm getting it. And I was expecting bigger blooms on them, but maybe it's just the first one and that's why it's so small. However, it is cute. Um, I do prefer the Mary Lee, which I'm seeing start. It starts to have the buds, but there's no coloring on them, so I hope they're gonna grow more like I said I forgot to up the watering system and it turns out they didn't get enough water for the stems to grow longer but I'm changing that and I hope that the tulips are gonna come now uh, are gonna have longer stems the parrot tulips as you can see they're super small um, and I only got one two leaves because I like to keep them for next year. Um, also, this winter was not as cold as the winters before, so I think that must have been 
another factor into them not having long stems. I'm still getting lots of mount wood. For me this year, this was probably the best narcissus so far because of the 60 oak that I planted. I think so far I've got 40, which is great. Uh, I didn't expect so many to come out given the fact that it's the first time for me so i was really really happy with with this and well they're gorgeous if you ask me they're just gorgeous yeah so this was pretty much uh, yesterday's harvest i harvest flowers maybe every three days or so and i get more or less this bunch now i know that uh the weather is getting warmer and there's going to be an explosion of flowers in about a couple of weeks i'll probably have the garden full of bloom and this will be triple the this this will be triple the size of what you see right now so i'm really excited about that i'm really excited about my white cabbage tulips which are my favorites sorry i'm just gonna run back a little bit but so far I'm quite happy. The house smells wonderful, especially because of this one and because of the doctor, Professor Einstein, sorry, um, which are now spent. I should just pull them out. Yeah, what I like to do with my bouquets is when I get home, oh, geraniums are also starting to fade off and I'm not getting many anymore yesterday i probably got a couple and i gave them away but these are the probably the strongest scented so far i do have one coming up now called albus plenus odoratus that's supposed to be like super super scented however i haven't gotten it yet um it will come up soon and i'm excited about those ones but yep yeah. I hope you guys liked it. Like I told you, I'm gonna start obsessing a little bit with flowers for now because, well, my garden needs blooming. I hope you guys don't get bored by that. Um, and I'll also use these as inspiration for my future paintings. You're probably gonna see this coming up soon and maybe these because they're really, really beautiful.